Hey, Dimitri. Hey, Zev. Hey, what are you doing? We're removing these cages from the service berries. Oh. So we can weed them and then add the compost and bone meal and oh. mulch. Oh. These are autumn brilliant service berries that are going to be Ooh. like, have these beautiful white flowers in the spring and then these beautiful red foliage in the fall. And, and actually it's probably one of our best producing service berries in, the, in this region. So mm. totally down with this. Why do you care so much about planting fruit trees in the commons? Um, so many reasons. Food security. I feel like it's kind of like another element of the glue that brings the different neighborhoods within our village kind of weave and weave them together. Kind of like another thing that calls us together to the center. Of the mm. Yeah. I think there's just something just awesome to have food that's in the commons and not just on private property to like provide for like all and maybe our guests and family and visitors um yeah mm. so yeah those are some reasons i could probably think about it more but i'm like a little bit yeah 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 like, thank you that was good enough maze do you think it's a good idea to have fruit trees in the commons the kids yeah <laughs> not sure what about Mesa's papa? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean the kids know no difference between commons and <laughs> commons anyway. So maybe it'll help them learn that like the commons are the ones that you can eat, but like leave Zev's private of <laughs> uh, uh, jingling berries alone. <laughs> yeah. Finally somebody spoke my mind. Jingling berries. I gotta I gotta hear see these. Thanks, Papa Joe. <laughs> 